Seventh grade, unit seven, lesson four, solving for unknown angles, illustrative mathematics. Problem number one, M is a point on line segment KL. NM is a line segment. Select all the equations that represent the relationship between the measures of the angles in the figure. A, A equals B. Angle A is much shorter than angle B, so it's obvious that angle A does not equal angle B. B. A plus B equals 90. Angle A plus angle B equals 180 degrees, so angle A plus angle B does not equal 90. C. B equals 90 minus A. Since A plus B equals 180 degrees, then B equals 180 degrees minus A. So B does not equal 90 minus A. D. A plus B equals 180. Yes, that's true. We've already identified that. A plus B equals 180 degrees. E. 180 minus A equals B. Yes, that's true, because A plus B equals 180, so 180 minus A equals B, just like B equals 180 minus A. F, 180 equals B minus A. No, that's not true, because we know that 180 equals B plus A, not B minus A. Problem number two. Which equation represents the relationship between the angles and the figure? The figure shows 1B plus 88 plus 1B. That's equivalent to 2B plus 88. So we know it's not equation A or equation B. Look at the figure one more time. Look at the straight line. 1B plus 88 plus 1B. That totals 180 degrees because that makes a half circle. So the equation that represents the figure is equation D. 2B plus 88 equals 180. Problem number three. Segments AB, EF, and CD intersect at point C and angle ACD is a right angle. Find the value of G. Look at the figure. Angle ACD is a right angle, so we know that's 90 degrees, because right angles are 90 degrees. 90 degrees plus 53 degrees plus G equals 180 degrees. 180 degrees makes a half circle, and as you can see, this is a half circle. To find G, we can do 180 degrees minus 90 degrees minus 53 degrees. G equals 180 minus 90 minus 53, which is 37. So G is 37 degrees. Problem number four from seventh grade unit six, lesson 12. Select all the expressions that are the result of decreasing X by 80%. We can start with X and then we're decreasing x by 80%. So that means that we can subtract 80% of x. So we can write x minus 80% times x, or x minus 80% of x. 80% can be written as 80 over 100. So we can rewrite this as x minus 80 hundredths times x. We can also write it as a decimal, which would be x minus 80 hundredths times x. And we can write it as x times 1 minus 80 hundredths. x minus 80% of x is equivalent to 20% of x. So that matches with a, 20 over 100 times x. Because 20% of x can be written as 20 over 100 x. Expression b is also a match because we have x minus 80 over 100 times x. Expression C is not a match because that represents X as being equal to 80% of X. When we already know that expression A is correct, 20% of X. Expression D is also not correct because 80% of X is not the same as 20% of X. And 80 hundredths of X is not the same as 20 hundredths of X. 
Expression E is correct. In fact, we can rewrite the expression in red by moving the x to the other side. This is equivalent to 1x minus 80% of x, which would leave you with 20% of x. Problem number 5 from 7th grade unit 6 lesson 8. Andre is solving this equation. He says I can subtract 3 halves from each side to get 4x equals 11 halves and then divide by 4 to get x equals 11 over 8. Kieran says, I think you made a mistake. A. How can Kieran know for sure that Andre's solution is incorrect? Andre's solution said x equals 11 eighths. So let's plug in 11 eighths into the equation for x. Doing it Andre's way, the equation simplifies to 11.5, not 7. B. To fix his mistake, he should use the distributive property to get 4x plus 6 equals 7. Then subtract 6 from both sides of the equal sign, and then divide both sides by 4. The value for x will be 1 fourth. Problem number 6 from 7th grade unit 6 lesson 7. Solve each equation. A. Subtract 3 fourths from both sides of the equal sign. 3 fourths minus 3 fourths equals 0. 9 eighths minus 3 fourths equals 3 eighths. Now you can rewrite it as 1 seventh x equals 3 eighths. Multiply both sides by the reciprocal of 1 seventh, which is 7 over 1. That makes 1x or x, and 3 eighths times 7 over 1 is 21 eighths. So x equals 21 eighths. B. Subtract 2 thirds from both sides of the equal sign. That leaves us with 1 fifth x equals 5 sixths and minus 4 sixths. 5 sixths minus 4 sixths is 1 sixth. We can rewrite the equation as 1 fifth x equals 1 over 6. Multiply both sides of the equal sign by the reciprocal of 1 fifth, which is 5 over 1. And that leaves us with 1x or x and 1 sixth times 5 over 1 is 5 sixths. So x equals 5 over 6. C. Subtract 2 thirds from both sides of the equal sign. Now the equation reads 9 sixths and negative 4 sixths equals 4 thirds x. 9 sixths minus 4 sixths equals 5 sixths. And then multiply both sides by the reciprocal of 4 thirds, which is 3 fourths. The value for x is 5 eighths. D. Subtract 7.9 from both sides of the equal sign and divide both sides by 0 0.3. 0 0.3x divided by 0 0.3 is 1x or x and 1.2 divided by 0 0.3 is 4. The value for x is 4. E. Subtract 8.78 from both sides of the equal sign. And then divide both sides by 0 0.02. The value for x is 112.5. Problem number 7 from 7th grade unit 2 lesson 5. A train travels at a constant speed for a long distance. Write two constants of proportionality for the relationship between the distance traveled and elapsed time. Explain what each of them means. If we divide 1.2 hours by 1.2, we'll get one hour. And since we divided time elapsed by 1.2, we need to divide distance by 1.2. So 54 divided by 1.2 is 45. This first constant of proportionality is 1 to 45. This means that in one hour, the train travels 45 miles. 
To find the second constant of proportionality, we need just one mile. So let's take 180 and divide it by 180 to get one mile. Now we need to divide time elapsed by 180. Four divided by 180 equals one over 45. This constant of proportionality is one to one over 45. This means that it takes one 45th of an hour for the train to travel one mile. Take a moment to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and you can watch the next lesson. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.